Hey everybody, David here with FakeWidgets.com. I just wanted to take the time to make a quick video on how to control your Volcano Hybrid, Crafty, or Mighty Plus using a iPhone on iOS. A few years back, Stores and Bickle did have the official application on the App Store, similar to Android devices, uh, where you could just download the app and control your device, but unfortunately due to restrictions on the App Store, they had to remove the app. The way Stores and Bickle has gotten around this is they now offer a web version of the app, which can be used on your iPhone via the use of two apps, one called WebBLE and another one called BlueFi. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use both of those today. We're gonna to start with using WebBLE. The first step to using either of these apps and controlling your Stores and Bickle device using your iPhone is gonna to be to get the link to the Stores and Bickle web app. We'll have this in the description below, but you can also find it the same way I'm about to show you. The way we get the link to the web app is we're just gonna go into Safari or any of your browser of choice. And we're just gonna simply Google Stores and Bickle web app. So you can see here in the search bar, I just typed in Stores and Bickle web app. I'm gonna hit go. And our very first, and our very first web result there is SMB web app. So we're just gonna open and click that. And as you see, as we scroll through this page, there's an option to access the web app, which we're gonna check out in a second, but they also have some instructions that I'm going to be following as well throughout this video, which shows you where to download the app for Chrome, if you're using Windows or iOS or Mac OS, it's telling you to download BlueFi. If I select that, it's gonna take me to the App Store and it's gonna show me the BlueFi app, which is where I would install it. I already have mine installed, so we don't need to look at that right this second. Back to the Stores and Bickle website. We're gonna come back to the top of the page and we're just gonna select Access Web App. Once we click that button, it's gonna load up that web app. So as you see on the top here, it says app.storesandbickle.com. We're just gonna come down here to the Share button and we're gonna pull up and we're gonna select Copy. And that's just gonna copy that link. Now we're gonna go over to BlueFi, which is gonna open up, and it's gonna ask you for a URL. This is just like a special version of a web browser. First time you open up BlueFi, it's gonna ask you if it can have access to Bluetooth notifications, all those things. You're gonna to wanna to allow that, of course. I'm just gonna paste in that URL, and now it's opened up on BlueFi. Now that it's opened on BlueFi, I would suggest just favoring it so you don't have to go through that rigmarole again. But now that we're here, we can hit the connect button and you're gonna see an option now that's gonna come up. So right now it's showing my Crafty Plus and my Volcano in the list. I'm gonna choose the Volcano. You're gonna see that it's going to connect. So there it is loaded. So the main difference between the Android app and the web app for iPhone and all other devices is on the web app, you can't make custom iterations or workflows, which means you can't make a custom programming flow where you could say, I want the volcano to blow air for 10 seconds, heat for 10 seconds, blow air for another 10 seconds, yada, yada, yada. Some people um, have started using back in the day, the one bag to rule them all that Troy from 420 Vape Zone got real popular, which was basically a flow that would extract vapor into your volcano at several different temperature intervals. So that way you had a bag that basically captured terpenes from every single you know temperature variant. Those are the types of things you can do with workflows. And I will be showing you how to do that later on in this video. When using the web app, you're just gonna be given the option of these few kind of pre-made workflows. If you click the details on them, you can see what they do. So like this one in particular, it says it gets the full spectrum of flavor in five Celsius degree steps from 170 to 220. So that basically is the one bag rule them all. They just kind of built it in there. And if you were to hit that, it would start running that flow. So we'll start just by turning the volcano on. So if I hit the heat button, it's gonna start heating up my volcano. As you can see in the video, the volcano is now heating up. If I hit the air button, it's gonna blow air out of the volcano. Um, if I hit the air button again, it's gonna stop. And this is just an emulation of the same controls on your volcano. If I were to run a workflow, as you see, it's now set my temperature to 170 degrees waiting until it hits that temperature. Over the next 20 seconds or so, you're gonna see how the workflow 
function works. It's setting temperatures based upon settings that were previously set. In this case, it's the web app, so it's whatever stores in Biggle set, but it's setting those temperatures, waiting amount of time, blowing air in your bag, raising the temperature, waiting time, blowing air in your bag. This is allowing the same experience every single time without any change-ups between your sessions. So yeah, you get the gist um, of how workflows works. It just goes through whatever steps those might be. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is uh, you also have in here the settings. This is where you can set if it does the air feedback once it reaches temperature, if the display is on, how bright your LED is, and my favorite thing, you can adjust your automatic shutoff time. Um, Additionally, in here, you have just this little volcano tab, which shows how long you've been operating your volcano for, your serial number, you know, stuff like that. So that, that's how you use the app in BlueFi. If we wanted to do the same thing in WebBLE, we would just open up WebBLE. You would come up to the top. You'd put in your URL, which I already had it open, but we would just paste it, go. It would load your URL, you'd hit connect, and you choose your volcano from the list, just the same as the other app with the same exact features. So the next thing I'm gonna show, the, here it is connected to my Crafty Plus. So the next thing I'm gonna show is there's actually an alternative app for the iPhone. Um, just like I was talking about earlier, how those custom workflows are not available on iOS, there is a way to get those custom workflows back. And that's by using a community app um, that was made by a guy on Reddit called I'm Not a Coder. Um, he has an app called Project Onyx, which I'll have a link to in the description below. So I'll show you how you can use Project, Project Onyx real quick and kind of what the difference is you're gonna see in using Project Onyx. Very similar to using the Stores and Bickle app, we're just gonna go to Safari and we're gonna Google Project Onyx Volcano. Once we Google that, we're just gonna scroll down, that's the Reddit post about it, and it's gonna be the second option down here where it says Project Onyx by Netlify. We're gonna open that and there's a URL very similar to the Stores and Bickle app. I'm gonna hit the share icon, copy the URL, and I'm gonna open it up in the other app just like before. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Copy. Now I'm gonna open up BlueFi. I'm gonna put in the new URL. Paste, go. And here's now the Project Onyx website. Now, it doesn't look as nice as Stores and Bickle app, of course, but if we tap, it's gonna connect just the same as the other app. All right, so here we are with the volcano loaded up. As you see, the heat's off, fans off. I turn the heat on, shows the display just like similar to before on the other app. Turn the heat off, goes away. Turn the fan on, fan turns off, fan on, fan turns off. So the difference with this app is we can actually really customize this. So if I come up here to the top, I can go to workflow editor and I can actually make any workflow that I want. Uh, and you'll see under here, we have these different actions, heat on, pause, wait, fan on, heat off. And you can make all these custom workflows. Once you make those workflows, you can name them custom names. So we'll just make this something crazy real quick, return. Done. And now, when I go back to the home page, you'll see that custom workflow I just named all wacky is there. And if I were to hit it, it would start following that workflow. So that's really the major perk you're getting when using this Project Onyx. It still has the same info as the other. You can still view your device info, how much time it's been operating. Um, you know, he's really taking the time to make sure all those features are present in there. Uh, but you're getting back your workflow editor. So typically when I'm controlling my volcano from the phone, I'm using Project Onyx. Anyway, that was just a quick video on the usage of the Stores and Bickle web app. I hope you enjoyed it and it was informative. Let me know if you have any questions or thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you. This was David with vapewidgets.com.